Good evening and uh, happy St. Patty's Day. Brown Liquor Reviews here. My name is Dan. Uh, tonight I will be reviewing Yellow Spots uh, Pot Still Irish Whiskey, aged 12 years. Um, uh, not the easiest Irish whiskey to come by. Um, I actually just picked this up on my trip, my vacation to Paris with my wife. And, um, you know, it's interesting. One, I, I picked it up because uh, St. Patty's Day was right around the corner, and I wanted to have an Irish whiskey to drink. And, uh, and for the most part, I'm just not a huge fan of Irish whiskey because... Well, for certain things, and, you know, I'll get into that as we go, but um, this one had some qualities to it that I thought were very interesting. One, it has hype. It certainly does, um, and it has a really great, cool story to it, and I would suggest that you uh, go and check that out. Um, here at Brown Liquor Reviews, my intent is to tell you what I taste, tell you what I smell, and should you go out and get it. Okay, it's going to be kind of simple. Um, if you want the whole backstory and all of that, I would suggest, you know, other malt mates. And you know who I'm talking about, Mr. Ralphie. So, um, with that said, I, I kind of just want to get into uh, Yellow Spot. In the United States, this might be hard to find. Um, it may not even be available in the United States, I'm not sure. As you can tell, this is a 70 centiliter bottle. Um, and made it back through customs, which I was very happy about. And um, it's safe and sound. And um, as you can tell, I have been uh, tasting it since I got back. And I've been kind of planning on doing a brown liquor review on this. This is actually my first attempt at trying this. So like I said, this will be a lot more casual, even more casual than Ralphie, even more casual than the Whiskey Bitch, even more casual than Jason Pyle. Uh, Jason, not like you're ever going to see this, but I'd love for you to come back. We miss you. And um, about, you know, this is just a normal guy reviewing these whiskeys. I love whiskey. And so I just want to share with you the ones that I have found because that's actually one of the favorite parts about doing this is seeking out the whiskeys, finding ones that are interesting, um, and uh, just talking about it. You know, I live in a place where uh, the guys drink Coors Light, <laughs> they drink Bud Light, they drink Budweiser. And so, I'm a big fan of uh, tasting special things and really being thoughtful about it. So, so why did I decide to get Yellow Spot? One, it has an age statement. It's 12 years old. Two, it has an ABV of 46%, uh, which is um, all appealing things, very good things. And so... Um, I decided that this would be the Irish whiskey that I decided to pay 78 euros for at the finest whiskey store I've ever been to in my entire life called uh, Maison du Whiskey. I probably just destroyed that in Paris, but if you're ever there, <laughs> it is uh, pretty special. So, uh, but getting into this, uh, I'm not a, a big proponent of talking about color, but... Yeah, you see it. So, on the nose, it's a little bit spirity, especially for a 12-year-old. It's a little... A little surprising, a little spirity up front, but sweetness gets you right off the front, especially light brown sugar. Marshmallow. Big-time Marshmallow. Light baking spices, cloves, a 
cloves, brown sugar, maybe cinnamon, just a little bit. Um, and then there's the citrus, a really interesting citrus, not... It's almost more like citric acid. It's like the like the real thing. All right, and then there's vanilla. Um, one thing about this thing is it's matured in bourbon, sherry, and Malaga cask. Malaga is a type of dessert wine from Spain. Uh, something that is new to me, and I think it's throwing me a few curveballs that I can't quite um, wrap my mind around, but maybe you can. Um, Tell it's sweet. There is an oakiness to the smell. I mean, it has been in there for 12 years in three different barrels. Uh, there is no real clear description of how long it was in each one. But to be honest with you, it had to be mainly sherry. Whether it was the traditional, whatever they mean by plain sherry and Malaga which I know is a dessert wine, so um, so very sherry, much more sherry than bourbon, okay, so um, as you can tell, the nose is fun, I mean, I've been pulling different, different concepts out all the time, different smells, um, so I would actually, the nose for this thing, really good, really good. So then you go on to the taste, which I know is very important. Well, one thing that I don't have in my tasting notes is there's a tropical burst at the end. Not mango, but papaya, maybe. Anyways, wow. That's really great. I mean, I just picked that up. It just came in so clear. Uh, up front, it's sweet and the, a little bitter on the back. There is an oak presence. Um, papaya peach. Something like that. Okay. Um, and in the middle, pistachio. Uh, like I said, the Malaga is a wine or a spirit that I am not really familiar with, uh, but <laughs> I think I might seek it out. So really interesting. And the, the fun, funny thing about tasting whiskey is, you know, sometimes it hits your palate in just a way that it hasn't hit it before. You breathe in just the right way, and you just catch something totally new. And that's what I'm catching with the peach, the peach papaya. Wow, okay, so totally interesting, really cool. Um, so you might ask, Dan, will you buy this? Again, one, I, I don't plan on seeing it anytime soon, especially in Pennsylvania. Um, I do have the chance to buy Green Spot. <clears throat> uh, Green Spot is an unaged statement, a non aged statement um, Irish whiskey. Not that interested in it. You know, so I probably won't seek it out, but um, this one, extremely interesting, um, great for a St. Patty's Day kind of treat, and I'm really happy that I got it. Uh, overall, if I'm going to say, yes, please, <laughs> if you can find it, go get it. If I have to give a score out of 100, I would give Yellow Spot initially an 86, but with this tropical burst that I just found, I would say an 88, okay? And um, with that said, you know, have a great evening. I hope to see you soon.
And um, happy St. Patty's Day. Have a pint of the black stuff. Till next time.